What's up, you two? This is the boy, my back with another banger. Now, today, as you see by today's silent thunder, we're going to be I'm going to be teaching how to make a fire thunder tutorial updated version. So, first, you want to make sure you have your thumbnail, which I already did last week or whatever. So, once you got that, you want to go to Pixar. Once your Pixar uploads. I don't know if it's gonna go straight to it. Okay, it did. So once that upload, you wanna look for your thumbnail. It's right there, right? So you wanna go to tools, you wanna go to crop. Then you wanna scroll all the way down. I'm gonna scroll all the way to your right till you see you two. Click on it. Make sure it's crop. Okay, that's good. Hit apply. Then hit next. Hit save. Dollar photo. Then after that, we're gonna go to Chrome and type up remove that bng bg then click <clears throat> hello image photo library click on your thumbnail it shows down or move your background 100 percent all right so like open go to pixar import Hit next, save, hello. All right, so hit done because sometimes it might not save window. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to, I'm at Pixar again. We gotta get a transparent background. Hit next, save, download photo. And then now we'll go to Ponto. We'll click on the blank area, just wherever, wherever. Then go to photo albums. Then click on your transparent background. Hit done. Then you should, then your transparent background should pop out like this. Click wherever you want. Then type how to make how to make a fire thumbnail tutorial. Hold on, I'm gonna put a so before uh, I'm gonna put the style for this I'm gonna go to create color pattern choose white and there's light gray next to the white then we're gonna click on vertical hit apply go to style go to the last eight on the right then hit done then what we're gonna do we're gonna duplicate this we're right under it no we're right under it um, even though I said how to make a fire thumbnail, I'm just going to put how to make a thumbnail tutorial. Alright, um, I think I did this right. Let me go check out before I start doing anything how to make a fire thumbnail child. I was right, how to make a fire thumbnail. I'm sorry, y'all, I messed up on this one. Thumbnail, all right, there. So how about that mistake I made just now? Um. So for this one, I'm gonna make the color pattern red. So you wanna get like a light red right here or uh, dark red it doesn't ma matter which color you use it doesn't matter if you use paint um blue light blue but i'm using red you don't have to copy me using red you can use something else basically voila the hit done it's save as png now we, oh, we'll go to, excuse me. Now we'll go to Pixar again. Click on our title. Go to tools. Go to perspective. Go choose this right here. Then we'll scroll all the way down to like 
I'm not going to do the full like this because I don't want to lean too much. So I'm going to probably do about 32.12. Right there. Hit apply. Hit next. Hit save. Download photos. Now we'll go to our thumbnail. Right here. Next we'll go to effects. Click on motion blur. Hit apply. Go back to effects. Click on colorization. I mean colorize. Next go go to the color you choose for your like your bottom. I chose red, so I'll go to red. Then we'll go to effects. Um shooting on our effects. Stickers. And grab our little buddy right here. Space them out. Put them right here somewhere. Right there. Alright. Then we'll get my transparent background right here. Pull it out. Go to shadow so I don't forget. Turn your blur to 100. Position 0. Then color is white. I'm going to use white for the color. Sorry about that, y'all. It kicked me out. You should upload. My, yeah, see, this is the thing I like about Pixar. Even though it kick you out, it save up. It saves your work. So um, next we're gonna go and grab my fire emoji. No, I shouldn't grab the fire emoji. I should grab the mind blowing motion emoji first. Okay, then size it up a little bit. Here we down. Pull it down right about there. All right, go to shadow, turn the blur, put the position back to zero. Now we'll go grab our fire emoji. Now, one size it right. All right, that's just the same size. Um, I see. I didn't have to press on shadow. Then I'm actually okay. So it's the same thing. Put the position to zero. Turn the blur up to hundred. All right. Now what we will do? We will grab our title, which is right here. Then size it about right here. All right. Then after that. Let's go to Fortnite because you won't, you might won't know where this at. Fortnite. All right, let's scroll, and, and you, it should be like, one, two, three. you'll see like on the, like seven row. Then we will push out, zoom out, not push out, zoom out. Then we'll stretch it out. Just like this. Push it behind my person and the emoji. And nothing. Let's add a shadow onto our title. Okay, we'll put the position to zero. Like I was saying for everything. Then let's grab error. If you don't know where the error at, we will type a DDG. The error pop up right there. That way you can get your screw overlay as well. Um, let's put the arrows right here. Turn the blur up to zero. I'm at 100. Turn the position to zero. Trying to do this quick as possible. Um, go back to DG. Grab text bubble. Oh, shoot. All right, text bubble right here, and we'll put the no, 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 no. This don't need no shadow. This don't need a shadow. Yeah, that don't need shadow text. We just do some fire emoji. That's all. Don't mind that. Some supporters. So we'll just line up right there. All right. Next, um, we just need a screen overlay. Um, so the screen overlay I'm gonna use is this one. 
I like I use other screen overlays as well, but this one personally is my favorite. That is personally my favorite. This is personally my favorite. Um, screen overlay, and I'm missing out something else. Let's head back to Fortnite. See, I was finna hit apply. Once you hit apply, you can't go back. Basically, I'm gonna show you why. So first, let me do this. show you why see look hit apply the only thing it's gonna do is this can't do nothing after you hit apply so what we're gonna do now we're gonna go to effects go to saturation go to tools go to adjust go to brightness and turn your brightness all the way up to five go to clarity turn it all the way up to 25 or 26 then hit apply and that's how you make a fire thumbnail so make sure you like comment subscribe hope this help y'all how to do how to make a better um uh, um oh geez i stare so bad right there uh, how to make a fire thumbnail like me so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing till next time peace